Welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to share a few updates regarding my tensile testing machine. So as you can see, I put a lot of parts on this uh, table here and uh, I will show you what is what. But uh, first, let's get rid of most of these things. So I just put aside this step promoter. So we have a few parts here, which uh, is the same as in the old or recent uh, part of this machine. But here is another thing which I recently made. So this black uh, frame or structure is a plastic 3D printed structure, as you can see. It's uh, nothing fancy. And then uh, the new tensile testing machine and the main part of it, which is basically the crosshead, will uh, take place uh, between this area, between my hands. Uh, I could not put the other side, uh, this guy uh, here, on the other side of the thread, because uh, the threaded rod is a bit too long and I could not uh, squeeze it in, because uh, as you can see, these parts are closed here, so you have to uh, put the thread through these holes and then uh, put on these nuts as well and then slide it back and you should put this on the other side but uh, the final version of this will be cut to a shorter uh, length so I can uh, put on these two screws from one side put on the nuts slide it back and put on the nuts these two guys here from the other side and this cross head as well actually three of these and then put everything together. But uh, which is the most important thing is that I made this and I printed this because I wanted to check the dimensions be before I prepare uh, this structure, especially this part here, out of metal. So actually uh, this part, so which uh, let's say connects the lead screw and uh, the worm wheel and the worm gear together uh, and the shaft as well uh, this will be made out of metal and now i just wanted to check the dimensions if i have everything fixed like here if it works or not and then if you see i just uh, turn this and it turns nicely everything uh, here i just put a collar here and uh, here as well so it will not move in this direction and I can rotate and as if you can see it rotates pretty much nicely and if I do it in the other direction it does that as well so no problems and uh, the dimensions and the uh, relative positions of the holes and everything is, is just fine and then of course, this is also fine. But what I want to show you, so we will have this kind of cage here where we will put uh, radial and axial bearings in these holes here and there, and also here and there. So we will uh, be able to uh, hold the lead screw and we will be able to hinder it against moving in this direction so in uh, horizontal direction so this is like let's say the front part of the motor or of, of the tensile testing machine and then we will put the motor so we will use one of the stepper motors like this uh, put quite close uh, to this part so it will be placed something like this and then i will use these uh, 9 or 10 millimeter wide timing uh, pulleys and uh, these type of uh, belts as well so this will be connected like this with one to one gear ratio so i will not use any reduction between uh, the main shaft and the motor only the planetary gear will be there and uh, and that's all so this will be quite short so if I see it's it's roughly like uh, 25 centimeters in this uh, length and uh, the width 
will be like 16 centimeters. So it, it can be uh, fitted on an A4 uh, paper, more or less, uh, except the electronics and everything else. But uh, the main structure which will do the job is uh, small enough to squeeze it like this. And if you don't like the long construction, then this can be modified in such a way that uh, you put it like this, uh, put the motor like this, and uh, instead of using uh, the belt, because now you are perpendicular to the shaft, you can use this kind of worm gear again. So you just basically put the worm gear on the motor shaft and the worm wheel on this shaft and drive it like this but you have to consider that uh, this is 1 to 20 gear ratio so you drop your uh, speed by a significant uh, amount and uh, you increase the torque as well and also you do the same here at this part so you might want to change uh, the planetary gear here to a smaller gear ratio so at the end you will uh, have the perfect or desired speed and uh, torque you, um, of course you have to calculate it or you can use these conical shaped uh, bevel gears and then you don't lose any torque but then you have to make sure that you use proper bearings and uh, stuff like that because then you might meet some uh, trust along the shafts and that's not not so good but if you put it like this like uh, you have the motor parallel to the lead screws or the par parallel to the uh, pulling direction then uh, you increase the width a little bit so you will have uh, let's say 17 centimeter in width or 18 centimeter but then you save some lengths so the overall length uh, of this machine will be around 19 centimeters and that's quite small so maybe this uh, solution is also uh, worth to consider but uh, yeah now what i wanted to show you is that I'm planning to do this thing, so I haven't uh, stopped working on this, but uh, I had some other problems which I had to figure out. So uh, this is where we are now. So we have these worm gears and they are working nicely. So what I will do in the coming weeks or coming months that uh, I have a better drawing of this because this is a prototype so I saved a lot of material for the printing you can see that uh, I cut out a lot of material here and uh, here as well and uh, here just to save time and uh, thread uh, from the from the plastic or so, so I just wanted to save time and material but uh, I wanted to focus on the position of the holes. So uh, I will make proper uh, prototype of this part. So what is here, which is encapsulates the worm gears and the shaft. And uh, I will uh, try to find a place where I can have these parts made out of metal, uh, preferably some stainless steel. And then uh, I will assemble a new machine which will be much smaller than the previous it will be this small uh, this part will be probably done with some regular uh, bearings because here we don't have to take care of any kind of uh, thrust because everything is basically handled here let's say like that and here we just have to keep the uh, lead screws together and that's all so that will be an easy task I will uh, make a small block here and put some regular pillow bearings here to the two uh, shafts or lead screws and then it will be just fine so I think that's all uh, regarding the machine 
still I ha will have to think about uh, the alignment of the motor but uh, for first iteration I will put the motor here because I don't care about the length and uh, this seems to be the best or easiest um, alignment because I don't have to care about the uh, forces uh, along the axis so here I just put together with uh, two timing belts, one here, one here, uh, sorry, timing uh, pulley wheels, and then I just put the, uh, the belt and uh, we are done. So this is a very, very simple solution. But on the other hand, if I want to use the bevel gears, uh, that's more complicated. So I would skip that uh, at least for now and then once it is done uh, I mean uh, this metal part here then I will assemble everything I will also need a base plate to screw this uh, metal part on it and screw the uh, other side of this um, structure on it but that's uh, not a big problem that will be made of some structure still and uh, will be cut by laser and uh, that's all so that will be very very simple so i hope that this update was somewhat informative and uh, i could tell you some uh, cool upcoming things that will be uh, done with this machine so uh, you can see that uh, everything works pretty fine and uh, the alignment and uh, the dimensions are quite okay and actually the print came out quite nicely of course you can see some small lines but uh, from a cheap printer it's it's not so bad so yeah so i hope that this was somewhat good and uh, informative and uh, it was useful in some way and uh, within a few months I will show a new machine which will be much smaller and much let's say professional than the previous model because the previous model was model was just a proof of concept and this will be more like a use, useful device. So see you in the next video.